everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, so President Donald Trump just went on the hardcore verbal offensive on stimulus. Yesterday, Democrats and Republicans vowed to have a deal together, and of course, they forgot the American people yet again. They couldn't strike a deal at all. Republicans say Democrats won't do a short-term bill and don't want to spend money bailing out Democratic states. Democrats say they offered a $2 trillion deal, to which Republicans laughed and said they wanted to stick with their $1 trillion deal. Nancy Pelosi, she suggested they meet in the middle. Uh, Democrats, you know, come down one trillion and Republicans come up one trillion. This was met with a hard no though. <laughs> and hence we are at a standstill. Part of the reason Republicans were so emboldened to say no was in part due to Donald Trump suggesting that he could just issue an executive order and make it just happen. So first it's helpful to know that an executive order is just the president demanding something. It does not necessarily constitute something agencies have to follow within the government. Executive orders can also get litigated and get slowed down dramatically. Trump says he will use his executive powers because Democrats are trying to punish him and hurt him in his re-election campaign. Democrats said they want a thorough bill to kill the virus. Trump yesterday outlined a few things though, but first I want to start with what was not mentioned. Stimulus checks, heroes pay, hazard pay, money for testing, treatment, and tracing, the post office and local pay. None of these items were mentioned in Donald Trump's press conference yesterday. However, Donald Trump did give us a preview of what his executive order would look like. He said, one, he would issue an executive order that would retroactively cut the payroll tax to July 1st. That would allow uh, working Americans to take home about 7.5% more in pay. It's unclear how the retroactive part would be paid though. This would be in effect through the end of the year and Trump would even uh, consider extending it into next year. This has been a very unpopular idea though because it takes money away from social security and, and Medicare. And it's also slow to implement and it's slow for people to receive the money from as well. Uh, even still, Trump is pushing for this in his executive order, along with suspending all student loan payments through the end of the year. Generally, this means federal loans. Uh, also, unemployment would be extended through the end of the year at a to-be-determined figure. An eviction ban would follow as well. Uh, yeah, and so this <laughs> this is just a packed, jam-packed executive order, and rumor has it Larry Kudlow already took out his napkin to start writing it all down. So we'll probably, you know, wait another few months to actually get that written version. So we'll see on that. <laughs> um, but in reality, we might actually see this between now and Monday, and I imagine negotiations will still be attempted to continue, but we're unsure if any progress is going to be made on this bill. This is not great news for the future of stimulus checks, especially since Congress technically has a recess starting next week. And if Trump's orders work, the pressure to pass another stimulus bill will sadly fade, which means stimulus checks might have to wait until September or just get canceled if COVID de declines. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.